everyone. So today's story is Column Kill and the Legend of the Swilly Monster. And I've taken it off the site, uh, dailyscribbling.com. So, the warrior and patron saint of our county and country, St. Column Kill, is of particular interest to me as he was born locally here at Garden. And there's a lot of magic and miracles surrounding him. So today's story is a short one and it is about the River Swilly. The River Swilly is 26 miles long and it rises at the Glendore Mountain. It's said that a man-eating creature lived at the mouth of the river and had 200 eyes on each side of his head. A local chieftain asked St. Colm Kill to help kill the dreadful beast named the Suluk, meaning the many-eyed. Colm Kill and the chief set off together to slay the creature, but when the creature burst from its cave, the chieftain lost heart and fled. Colm Kill fought alone, cutting the beast in half. However, the tail came back to life and wrapped itself around him, while the head crawled towards him. But Column Kill was able to break free and stab the beast in the head. His blood now thoroughly aflame, he pursued the craven chieftain, meaning to kill him as well. The chieftain, seeing no chance of fighting the warrior saint, agreed to submit to his fate if Column Kill would wash the monster's blood from his blade so it would not mix with his. This Column Kill did. But as the blood streamed down the river, so his rage went with it, and he spared the chieftain. And this is how the river Swilly, or Sulak in Irish, gets its name. Well, one of the versions anyway, but it's a good story. So look, uh, the river Swilly and Lost Swilly have had a lot of important history take place on their shores. And I'm going to be bringing some of that to you over the next while as well. Thank you. Bye bye.